This is Twit. Brian on the line from Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, Brian. Hello. I'm not going to ask how you're doing. <laughs> okay. You already got it in once. Like, <laughs> hanging in like a hair in a biscuit. Okay. That's right. That's right. All right, Brian, what can I do for you today? All right, quick story, and then to my question, the sure. story is um, I always generally stay a phone behind on the iPhones, but uh, we were Smart, on vacation. That, by the way, that is the best advice in general. Don't buy the latest. Buy the second to last one. I know, but you know what? Hey, you only live once. It's hard not um, to. In this consumer <laughs> society, you're not really doing your part if you don't buy the latest everything. I know. So uh, we're on vacation in, in, in Florida, and I'm staying up late anyway. I said, you know what? I'll just uh, the alarm for just before 2. 12.01 a.m. Pacific time. Yep. Oh, right, yep. 2.01 Central. Yep. And by the way, they, it looks like they closed the store at like, in, in our time. It was about 8 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Like, wow, that was early. Yeah. So anyway. They, which is, by the way, absurd, because modern web technology does not require you to close the store to prepare for the new items. It yeah, used to. The, uh, Apple used to have to do that because they used Apple's own terrible web objects technology, but they've gotten off of that, I hope. Are they building anticipation maybe? Who knows? I don't know. Yes, it's all marketing. So I said, you know what? What, what the heck? Try it. You know? Um, so, I, you know, it, it's... Yeah, what the heck? A thousand dollars later, go ahead. Tw <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I, yeah, I know. 201, I'm, I'm 201. Just say I'm on their program. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm just looking. Not going to buy. Just looking. Couldn't get in. Couldn't get in. Then finally it opened. Now, I did pre order. You know, oh, there good. was that option where you could pre order and have it all done. Yeah. Said, wow. That was done. It saw that. And then it came up. But then it went to the other screen and says, We need more information. You didn't fill out all this. And well, it's all there. I hit OK. No. I said, Well, I know I'm not, I know yeah. not going to get it now because now it's another two seconds. Mm hmm. It spun for two seconds, and it said, okay, your phone will be there Friday. Oh, I'm so jealous. So you're getting a oh iPhone 10. Which one did you get? I got the Space Gray. Space Gray 256, top of the line, $1,149 plus tax. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> I, I hope your wife's not listening. So uh, <laughs> She is, but she doesn't have a clue. No, uh, yeah. Oh, honey, you need that. Um, no, you do need that. You need that because that's going to be uh, – there's no question that's going to be the best possible iPhone. And if so if you're an iPhone user and you want the best, the top of the line the iPhone with all the bells and whistles, that's the one. I got a feeling I'm going to miss that button though. Well, there's a lot of question marks and it's one of the reasons I was trying so hard. I did the same thing. Maybe I tried too hard. You know what I did? I was So it's midnight our time. So 11.45, I know the store's closed because I've been checking all evening. I go into my, uh, my home office. I fire up the Apple store on my PC. I fire up the Apple store, no, the T-Mobile store because they're my carrier on my second screen. So I got two, two, two stores open. I get my iPhone and my iPad. I fire up the iOS Apple store because I've often had experience that's the fastest way to get in. And I'm sitting there refreshing. 12 goes by. Midnight goes by. The hoot owl. Hoo -hoo. The clock. Bong, bong. Nothing. No stores open. T-Mobile is offering me an upgrade to an iPhone 8, which I already have. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hit refresh. I see people on Twitter. Got mine. I see people like you. Got mine. number of people had good results calling. I didn't realize you could call the phone company at midnight and buy a phone. But I guess you can on Apple Day. That's a special company. Yeah, I knowledge. use the Apple Store app. I was surprised. That's usually the best way. My wife, by the way, who did not get up, who stayed in bed, she just took her iPhone, she sleepily opened the Apple Store, bought it, and went back to sleep. She beat me. <laughs> She's getting hers in a week. So I think that what happened, I don't know what happened. I think Apple thought I wanted it too badly. I don't know. The gods did not smile upon me. It, I, I suspect what Apple does is they don't open it all at once to save their right. servers. Now, this, by the way, is another stupid thing. In this day and age, there's no surprise to T-Mobile, AT&T, Sprint, or Verizon, or Apple, that at midnight on Friday, there's going to be a few people banging on their website. Put some extra servers up. Buy some bandwidth. You can do it. But the, I think they like it that it's hard to get.
I think they like it that people like us are going to talk about it the next day. Did you get it? I don't know. Everybody's tweeting. I got it. I didn't get it.